Hey everybody and welcome back to the Outdoor Tinker. Today we are finally starting to do some work on the slats um, and to start that work we need to cut out a groove in this bottom back rail. Um, for the back if you remember from the drawing um, on my computer uh, it's going to be one solid um, like wall I guess you could say for the back piece. Um, so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to tongue and groove the, the hickory slats for the back and put those together and then we're gonna I'm gonna slot out this bottom rail to uh, slide those into to give it a little more stability and kind of make it all centered and stuff like that. So we've got this set up here. Um, got the spacing so the router is going to be cutting this slot directly in the center of this um, bottom rail. And so this is going to go all the way um, one side to the other. Um, and then for the other rails, the tops and bottoms of the other rails, I'll just be doing just little pocket holes, not pocket holes, but uh, holes for each individual slat to go into, um, since there will be some spacing in between those. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I brought some reinforcements in too. So now we got to do the bottom of this curved one and it shouldn't be any different than the others but it still feels sketchy. We'll just have to take it slow and take my time. Okay, so we've come to the part where we're marking up this board now. As you can see, we've had to draw a reference to our drawing right here. Uh, and so what we did was we went, we came along here and figured out that this uh, SketchUp has a measuring tool. Um, and so it's a quarter inch was the start off of the edge right here, off the edge of the board. So a quarter inch. Um, and what we ended up doing first was we measured, we just took it, well, we didn't do it first. We tried to figure it out just on the fly what, where the actual lines were, but uh, didn't quite work out. So we had, we just went back and we took the measurements that this actually gives us. So we zoomed in here and marked the outside. Uh, we just put the tape measure on one side and then strung it all the way across and marked the outsides of the, the slats. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna cut a half inch notch out of the slat so that there is somewhat of a, a mortise and tenon there to hide some of the rough work that uh, the chisel is going to do. Um, but so we, we marked out where the whole slat was and then we went back and we took off a half an inch on the inside of the slats and that's exa that's where we're going to start to router um, in between and Caleb is marking these here. You can see so these lines here in between are where we're gonna take the router and cut out. Um, not the full thing, just, just a slot in, in the center of these so that the slats will come down and slide right down into them and everything will look very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Stuff is marked. I hope this video isn't upside down. <laughs> huh? The stuff is marked. Got the router set up, it's time to cut these holes. And we're kind of going to do it by freehand instead of setting up stop blocks because two people make it easy enough that we don't need to set up stop blocks, so that would take a little, like twice as long. So.
So if you haven't seen me do this chiseling, I'll kind of explain what I do. <clears throat> um, to make them square, what I do is I come alongside the edge of uh, where the router is cut since that's pretty straight. And I level that with the chisel blade, the back of it, and I just kind of push and rotate until it hits that line. And then I'll push down to the bottom of the where the router hole is. I'll do that on both sides to get, get it started off. So it's there, and then I'll take just the edge of the chisel. Since this is a three quarter inch chisel and this is a three quarter inch bit, it fits perfectly inside here. So what I do is I just line it up on this, this line, and I make an indent there. And so then when I come back, I just take the hammer and I clean this up here. So. That's how you do that. It's pretty simple, but um, going across the grain, these chisels aren't super sharp and they're not super great. Um, but uh, so it doesn't come out crisp and clean and nice looking, but it doesn't particularly matter since it's gonna be on the inside of the wood and you'll never see it. At least that's the idea. Tell it is what I need. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. No. What? No.